Hello students, in this video lecture class, we will discuss what is the effect of power factor on terminal voltage. So before starting this topic, first we discuss what are the topic we have covered in our previous video lecture class. On that we have discussed what is the vector diagram of a loaded alternator. You know that suppose I take an example of salient pole alternator which one we have discussed in my previous lecture class having two number of pole north pole and south pole north pole and south pole three phase the system is three phase this conductor is for a phase then after displacement of 120 degree b phase after displacement of 120 degree this is the c phase and if i connect a terminal or load if i connect a load this is a load then what is the terminal voltage what is the terminal voltage and what is the effect of power factor on this terminal voltage we will discuss in this video lecture class okay as you study the three type of load in vector diagram what the th three type of load you have study the first unity power factor just we will recall all these portions in this video class also the second one we have studied lagging power factor third leading power factor on the discussion of armature reactions you see that the armature flux the armature flux is quadrature of the main flux and the nature of this function is called as cross magnetizing effect cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction on main flux if i take a purely inductive circuit or highly inductive circuit which having lagging power factor it means your voltage leads the current by an angle of 90 degree or you may say that current lags the voltage by an angle of 90 degree so on lagging power factor the armature flux exactly opposite exactly opposite to the main flux so in this case you have studied that this effect of armature reaction to the or on the main flux is called as demagnetizing effect okay and for leading power factor means my circuit is a purely capacitive then armature flux assist armature flux assist the main flux and this nature of armature flux to the main flux is called as magnetizing effect this is only for purely resistive purely inductive and capacitive case if i take rl circuit means which circuit i will take having some resistance then the effect of armature reaction on the main flux is called as 
partly demagnetizing and partly cross magnetizing similarly in case of capacitive circuit if my circuit consists of capacitance having some resistance value then the effect of armature flux on the main flux is called as partly magnetizing and partly cross magnetizing in this video lecture class in this topic we discuss that what is the effect of this power factor on the terminal voltage if you go from lagging power factor to leading power factor lagging to leading it means in the lagging the armature flux it opposes the main flux here it assist so if my power factor is lagging then terminal voltage is less and if it is leading then terminal voltage is more as compared to lagging power factor would you understand students why in leading power factor terminal voltage what is the equation in our previous video class we have discussed the terminal voltage v is equal to ea minus i r a that is the voltage due to resistance of armature winding minus i into xl that is the voltage drop or voltage due to armature re uh, winding reactance and i x a this is the voltage drop due to fictitious reactance xl i write j here xl the summation of xl and x a it is represented as xs called as synchronous reactance or we may write this equation as ra plus xs that is zs synchronous impedance the equation is this one where zs is ra plus j xs or you may write this equation as v plus i zs okay so if my power factor is lagging this terminal voltage is less and if it is lagging leading then more due to this armature flux as in the lagging power factor the armature flux oppose main flux and here it is assist the main flux so students in this video lecture class in this study what conclusion you will get the first is that if power factor changes from leading power factor to lagging power factor then terminal voltage falls due to which region because in leading power factor armature flux assist the main flux but in lagging power factor armature flux opposes the main flux due to which the generated emf is less this one you have learned in this video lecture class and it will helps in your semester exam because in this topic you will get two mark of question that is what is the effect of power factor on the terminal